Oh my god, this is a beautiful evening for sure. God almighty knows. God, man, there's some places the energy is just so wonderful at night. In the moonlight, man, I love it, the moonlight. You've never seen one like it here in New Mexico. It just burst out at you. I comment on it all the time. Look at it every night. I'm loving that part of this life, the beautiful sky. Man, am I so in touch with the stars. Yeah, they're so amazing, man. Just looking up there and just wondering what's going on in our minds. And I mean, just how much beauty and just unknown things there are in our universe. And that's how cool it is. Something so large, it's overwhelming. I love it. I love life, man. It's a beautiful place. I just know that I gotta maximize every day. I need to keep my head straight. The kind of life I wanna live There's so many things I wanna see Travel to every country I wanna stomp all over the ground And Europe all over the place I just wanna see the history Man, I love it so much I'm so interested in our humanity You know, life is such a beautiful thing Man, what a gift We're so fucking lucky, all of us Every single one of us is so fucking lucky And if you feel differently, we can talk about it Man, I've done so much damn suffering So I don't really wanna hear about it But you can tell me in detail And I'm telling you, man, I have been through hell But it's all been just part of the lesson Choosing me, learning about me Trying to become the person that I am today And I'm just constantly growing because of the way that I change The way I see the things that I see I develop so well, man, I'm so happy and proud of me for that It's the only thing I really care about is my adventure You know, I'm a dreamer, man, I'm a romantic, I can't help it I just, I love the idea, you know I love to bathe in it, bathe in the idea Tempt great things, things that are impossible Try them, lose gracefully There's nothing wrong with that I've done it many times. I'm a fighter. I do not give up. My horoscope signs, Aries. I'm just like them. You know, I, you know, I used to think that horoscopes had no power and all that shit. I used to talk a lot of shit. But like, it's changed me because like, I truly, that thought, that idea has stuck in my heart. And it's just, it's, it's just really, it is, it is paved who I am without me even being able to control it. Because there's so much power in that idea. And that's pretty incredible. It's actually extremely incredible if you think about it. That's how much power our words have. Our words are power. You hear it? You can feel it. It's very important you're responsible with them. Very important. You know, a lot of people will tell you, you know, will, will tell you, you know, like, I could be a preacher. Like, I could preach right now. I could preach about the Bible right now to you. And I, I could probably influence you even. I can inspire you for sure. But... You know, it'd be an easy road. It would be a guaranteed thing I could do, and I'm, pfft, I'd be excellent at it. You know what I mean? But the reason I've never been able to do it, never been able to try to do it, or even think about it really, is because it's so unsincere. It's, it's not sincere to me. Because there's no way that me of sound mind, with all the knowledge that exists in the world, I could fairly influence the youth to follow that path in that context. I could easily, I could sell it easily, and I would love to sell it easily, because I love the book, uh, it's actually my favorite book. I would love to sell it in the context of great stories, excellent stories, great stories, and some of the best characters and the most love. There's so much love and struggle in, in the Bible, it's, it's unbelievable. I could tell you some great things to read um, that are actually just absolutely entertaining, beautiful reads. Um, like, I think everybody should read the book of Proverbs on a regular basis. Just, I'm going to flip to it somewhere right now. Now, there is some shit in there that's not. This is the parts that, that tell you that this shit, that this is a book of stories and a book of, you know, philosophical fucking, um, you know, bougie shit. Motherfuckers that, you know, motherfuckers that like to write and like, you know, like we do, writing things and like we really take pride in our words. It's the same type of shit. These are artists, you know what I mean? A lot of them. And then, you know, there's a lot of egos. There's all that, boy, it's just human shit, but it's not. It's not, it doesn't have to be taken that way in, in any way. I mean, it's, you know, it's the year 2023, and we've got plenty of knowledge here. Um, and we've got plenty of common sense. <laughs> it's, like, it's very easy to decipher that this is a great book of stories. Um, 
but you can't, you, you, I could never sell this to I couldn't, because see a person's major part of their personality is going to be their spirituality. I could never ever try to teach a child that this is the truth and, and, to, and teach them in that way. Like I, that, it's crazy because it's not the truth. <laughs> it's not the truth. Some of the stuff in here is absolutely not the fucking truth. And it'd be wrong. It's wrong and irresponsible. And, and it's it's not compassionate and selfish because people want to gain. People are gaining from from influencing this and marketing this. And that is the part that is wrong because of the way they do it. If you did it in a different context, it's different. Does that make sense? Every, you guys know what I'm talking about. It's called motives and like, uh, um, like, the yeah, your intentions and stuff. You know what I'm saying. You're getting my point, I hope. But I mean, and there's no way that anybody can argue that. I mean, I, there's several books in this Bible I can go to right now that will show you that, that it says in the very front that they have no idea who wrote it. I mean, there's nothing else. Human beings would, would turn their nose up at anything that ever said that in our day and time today. Period. You would never, ever, ever give it any credibility if you didn't know who wrote it. Period. Because it matters. It matters tremendously. Mental health condition is extremely huge. Because the energy behind the words is very important. Like, does that make sense? Because we were just talking about how the um, how words are so influential, so powerful. You have to be very, 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 very careful with them. I'm just going to read somewhere random. Then shalt thou call, and the Lord shall answer. Thou shalt cry, and he shall say, Here I am. If thou take away from the midst of thee the yoke, the putting forth of the finger, and speaking vanity. And if you thou draw out thy soul to the hungry and satisfy the afflicted soul, then shall thy light rise in obscurity and thy darkness be as the noonday. And the Lord shall guide thee continually and satisfy thy soul in drought and make fat thy bones. And thou shalt be like a watered garden and like a spring of water whose waters fail not. And they that shall be of thee shall build the old waste places. Thou shalt rot, raise up the foundations of many generations. And thou shalt be called the repairer of the breach, the restorer of paths to dwell in. If thou turn away thy foot from the Sabbath, from doing thy pleasure on my holy day, and call the Sabbath a delight, the holy of the Lord, honorable and shalt honor him, not doing thine own ways, nor finding them own pleasure nor speaking thine own words now that's Isaiah chapter 58 that's just a random spot and we'll hit another one let's see here we go there's Proverbs right here mm -hmm. when a wicked man dieth his expectations shall perish and the hope of unjust men perish the righteous is delivered out of trouble and the wicked cometh in his steed. A hypocrite with his mouth destroyeth his neighbor, but through knowledge shall the just be delivered. When it goeth well with the righteous, the city rejoiceth, and when the wicked perish, there is shouting. By the blessings of the upright, the city is exalted, but it is overthrown by the mouth of the wicked. He that is void of wisdom despises his neighbor, but a man of understanding holdeth his peace. A talebearer revealeth secrets, but he that is a faithful spirit concealeth the matter. How many of those do you know? You know those people out there, that's all they do. And it blows my mind. Like, how do you, like at work, man, the construction industry, union work, it is unbelievable how much girl, I mean, I, I don't mean to say girly, because that's not right. Because women are, are much stronger than a lot of men, period, in a lot of ways. Um... So it's definitely, I mean, I, I believe this firmly. Um, these men will talk about the, I mean, just every little fucking thing that anybody does behind their backs constantly. It's unfucking believable And they're not honest in their speech. It's like, hey, man, say what you feel. That's all you have to do. And you can't, you, if you just do that, if you're just saying what you feel, right? And, you know, you do need to probably have like a, you know, if you over a period of time, if you um, do live a certain way and you're like, you know, decent, I guess, or, or what, we, what we would call decent, um, then you're going to have like a, 
a pattern of behavior that's just overall not very volatile. Um, so if you have that and then you just speak your heart all the time, um, then you're going to have the best feeling in the world. You know, I mean, you're, it's going to blow your way of how good you're going to feel because you're not going to have anything in there. There's nothing in there that's, uh, yeah, I don't, there's nothing in there. If that makes sense. Like, you don't have all this stuff that you wish you had said. You don't, you don't go to places that you don't want to go. Like, you know, a lot of people will go somewhere that they don't want to go. Like, I'm not, like, it blows my fucking mind. If I don't want to go, I'm not going to go. Like, I don't care. Like, if I don't want to go, then I'm not going. I mean, it's just, unless it's for somebody that, you know, is really close to me that needs me, then that's different. But, you know, just a regular thing, I'm not going to get, I just, if I don't want to go, I say no. So, like, and that, it's, it, it's always going to be the right answer. You're always going to get the, what I really feel whenever I speak to you. Um, and it makes it really difficult sometimes because see, in a lot of relationships, if you're the only person that does that and the other person doesn't do it, so what happens is, is you end up, you end up like losing a lot because whenever you're wrong in an argument, let's say you're the same, we get in an argument and I'm like fucking, I realized that I was wrong um, based on maybe something you said. Uh, a, a lot of people will not say, oh yeah, you're right, I am wrong. I'm sorry. Uh, you know, and then, actually move forward from that position with that understanding, trying to, you know, work towards that. A lot of people will get hit with that, whatever, in that argument. And then at that point in their mind, they know that they're wrong, but they won't admit it. They may even lie and fight the argument continuously without ever settling it with the other person and then making the other person feel like they were wrong. And then that is like a total mind fuck. And that's not cool at all. But you end up in a relationship. I, I experience it all the time because nobody wants to admit they're wrong. Uh, and it's ridiculous. I'm like, what the, what the fuck's wrong with being wrong? Dude? What is wrong with being wrong? It's just, it's just part of life. It, you are wrong a lot. Why, why is it wrong? What's, why, what's it bad? Why is it bad? Why can't I accept the responsibility for it? Like, I, don't, I feel like it's just like being anything else. It's like being tired. <laughs> wrong is like tired. Yeah, fuck. It's, a, it's just something that happens to us. Uh, it's not a big deal. <laughs> It's fucking funny, though, how people are about it, and I can't stand it. It makes it really hard for me to communicate with people because, like, let's say I discover this, this is a characteristic that a person has. It's really hard for me moving forward to be interested in talking to them that much because I just am like, wow, I can't believe it. Like, you know, and I really pointed it out well to them why they were wrong. <laughs> they still didn't get it. Um, and I, I mean, I, I actually, I literally say I'm wrong all the time. It's something that I, I practice religiously. Um, anyway, that's all. Uh, that's probably way too much talking, but if you heard, if you listen to it, it's cool.